No, 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 buddy. You're only halfway done. Halfway? Yeah. All those holes need to be drilled the rest of the way with a quarter inch bit so it can hold a quarter inch shank router bit. I don't want to drill any more holes. Come on, you lazy millennial. You're a millennial. And cut. Yeah, yeah. Think that was good? Think we can use that? Yeah. I think that'll work. Alright, cool. This dramatic moment brought to you by Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. The best woodworking store for dramatic results. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this build. I've made plans for it, and those are available on my website if you'd like to duplicate it or modify it, make something similar. But I have to give a huge shout out to Rockler for making this project possible. Not only do I have a bunch of the tools that really increase the efficiency of this whole setup, but I use a bunch of their tools to make it as well. Now I will include a full list down below of every single Rockler material and tool that I use on this build so you can learn more about them. But now, for those of you who stuck around, I'm gonna give a quick little tour of the entire setup and all the little details that are incorporated into the build. Now something special that I did was create a notch in the wider T-track. Now that allows the T-bolts for the fence to slide into the thinner T-track. Now doing it this way meant I didn't have to cut the T-track short or make a keyhole slot like you might have seen on other router table setups. It doesn't really affect the functionality of it, but I think it's a cleaner look. Now while I was doing all this, I also upgraded the router lift itself from Rockler's FX to their newer Pro Lift. As far as installing the lift in the table, I cut that hole a couple years ago when I got the older router lift. I actually used my CNC. So I mounted the entire extension wing in the CNC and cut that hole. The same thing could be achieved with a handheld router and a 
template. The whole cabinet is made from half inch aromatic cedar pure bond plywood. I had it left over from the dresser build. Probably the most elegant thing in this shop, aside from myself. The drawer bottoms are all made with quarter inch plywood and those function as drawer bottoms, drawer slides, drawer pulls, and even drawer stops because of the orange PVC label that I attached to the front. The drawers at the top hold wrenches and feather boards, push blocks, things like that. And then all the lower drawers are for holding router bits. Something pretty unique about those is each of the holes is drilled out for both a half inch and quarter inch shank so it can hold either size router bit. The door over where the router is located is made from an acrylic with an embedded wire mesh. Now this is just a scrap piece that I got my hands on from Jimmy Diresta. It's mounted to the cabinet using some spring loaded hinges that I dug out of the trash so that holds the door shut. Now the dust collection is combined between my table saw and my router table with a couple of T-fittings and blast gates to control it. And then all of this is connected to a single hose running back to my small dust right dust collector in the corner. Now this little unit is one of the things that allows me to keep from having any duct work in the ceiling or walls of this entire shop. But I think that's all the excruciating details of this complete overkill of a build, but that's what we do around here. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.